Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little series I'm putting together, I'm playing around with this uh, very cool Lunar Lander script that Dimitri made. Just as a quick refresher, the Lunar Lander script uh, sets up a, a source location and a destination location on the moon. And the idea is that you will uh, go from point A to point B in a suborbital hop and do so as efficiently as possible. In the last video, I, I started going through uh, my suborbital hop and we're about 357 kilometers away from the target site. So let's go ahead and jump back into it and see if I can make it. Let me switch camera views here. Let me actually switch to the left camera though and I don't have a hotkey for that, so there we go. All right, and let's unpause. Okay, so what I need to do is to set up or check out in burn time calculator to see how many meters and kilometers I'm going to need to eliminate that much velocity, but it's probably going to be higher because as you can see I'm falling at a pretty good rate, so pretty soon I'm going to need to put in some hover to offset that or else I'm going to crash into the ground. But uh, let's say let's say that we're going to be about, uh, well, let's say roughly around here. So we would need, using the retro engines, we would need 175 kilometers. All right, well, let's, let's plan on doing that. It's probably a terrible idea, because if we use the main engines, we'll need a lot less distance. Let's see, what would we need for main engines? 37 kilometers, hmm. Let's, uh, let's switch cameras to one of the back cameras, like that, and let's go ahead and turn around. Let's plan on using the main engines. I think it'll be, I think it'll be more fuel efficient. So let's uh, rotate around. And by having the back camera up, we'll be able to see where we're going, even though we're facing the wrong direction. And we need to pay attention to our, our altitude because we're falling really fast. Okay. All right, so we're turned around opposite of the direction we're going, but we can see where we're going by using this back camera. All right, let me, so let me check my altitude. So I'm at 45 kilometers. So I've still got a ways to go down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to uh, vertical speed. And uh, once we get down to maybe say 20 kilometers, I'm going to zero out my vertical speed just to make sure that I don't fall way too fast. And we're at 190 kilometers out. We need to begin our braking burn at 37 kilometers. Okay, so we got a couple things to do here. Let's hope we can do this without messing up. <clears throat> okay, now, so 167 kilometers out. We need to begin our burn at 37. But we still have a ways to fall. So let's just uh, continue doing what we're doing. hundred and forty five kilometers out and let me bring up we need 37 kilometers let me bring pursuit enough D back up all right actually yeah, I don't know how much that's gonna help me right now so we're almost at 20 kilometers so I'm gonna zero out my my fall mm, let's get down to 15 let me bring burn time back up I want to have that information available to me so we're 100 kilometers out. All right, so pretty soon we're going to zero out our, uh, yeah, 15 seems good. About right now. And we're not gonna hold this, we're just going to zero it out so that we can concentrate on other things for a little bit. And once it's at zero, I'm gonna turn it off and we're just gonna go into free fall again but I just want to make sure that we have that under control. And really soon we're going to need to engage the full power of the main engines. Okay, now I'm going to shut that off and we're going to go back into free fall. Okay, 44, 43, again, about 37 kilometers. Oh, I missed it by just a little bit. Now I'm going to switch over to the down camera so I can see my target when we get over it. I think we're actually going to overshoot the target by just a little bit. 
but uh, we'll see. And we're, we're off from the target a little bit to the left or right. I just don't know where. But uh, hopefully we'll see it in our down camera. Okay, we are slowing down pretty fast. Let me bring up Pursuit MFD again. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now because we're still six kilometers out and we have a hundred. Um, actually, no, we're going away from the landing site, so it's off in some other direction. Translation. Rotation. Um, let me think. Let me look at map MFD, see if I can figure out. Let me track my location and zoom in. Okay, so we have overshot. So we need to eliminate all of our velocity and back up. That's unfortunate. Okay, so now we're heading back towards the site. I'm going to zero out my, my fall speed again. Yeah, unfortunately I missed the site, so uh, it's going to be really tight on fuel. So let me turn that off and let's... I'm not going to go complete free fall. Let's put in just a couple taps of hover. And Translation. Rotation. now what I'm going to do once we get closer to, so we're zoomed in all the way, a bit more on the hover. Once we're right underneath of the target, I'm going to eliminate my velocity in this direction and then rotate around. Unfortunately, we don't have VOR, VTOL. Uh, I should have done this much sooner. But I want to get most of my velocity zeroed out in this direction. And, and then I need to rotate such that I'm moving towards the uh, target. Okay, so we're mostly zero in this direction. So let's rotate so that we're facing the target. I'm just not sure. So my bearing should be... Oops, that's the wrong rotation. So I want a bearing of about 343 right now. Yeah, this would be... I'm so used to using VOR, VTOL that it's hard for me to think in terms of this stuff. Okay, so I guess I should have rotated the other direction because clearly I'm going more than 180 degrees. And we're, we're okay on fuel for now. So we're almost rotated towards the bearing. So we just need to move forwards. Obviously, this is not efficient. The way you should be doing this is, you know, offsetting your uh, vessel so that you're always burning towards the target. But it's hard for me to think like that. Okay, so we're at about 343. So now we just need to move forwards. But we don't want to move forwards too fast. All right, let me take out some of that hover now so we can drop. And we, since we're moving towards the target now, we should be able to see it in our forward down cam. Front down. Let me turn that off. Mm, it's probably in that crater. Let me go back to the down cam. Okay, so we are 3.6 kilometers from the target, and we should be moving towards it. We are... Okay, so let's uh, let's get down to about here and hold our altitude just to zero it out so we're not falling out of control. And turn that back off, get rid of the hover. Just a couple ticks of hover just to, okay, I see the target. It's right there. All right, let me start slowing down. And let me turn this on because that'll give me an indicator. Okay. Translation. All right, let me zoom in a little bit. So that spot right there is the target. Let me get rid of some of the forward speed. Don't want to overshoot again, that's for sure. 
Okay, so we, I can tell we're moving a little bit off to the left. And we want to move a bit to the right. Okay, let me check my drop. I'm dropping really fast. Let me zero that out. Mm, not quite yet. Actually, let me go ahead and set my... Set my drop at like a couple meters per second, something like that. Okay, we're still moving a bit off to the left. We're in translation. Let's move a bit to the right. Okay, I think we're going to have enough fuel to land. Granted, I'm using one of the easier settings <laughs> because I'm still, you know, trying to figure this out. All right, let's get rid of some of the forward. Looks like we're moving really well in the direction we need to go. Let's zoom in a couple more times. Using our down camera. So let's get rid of a bit more of that forward. A bit more, a bit more. Okay, so we should be dropping a couple meters a second. All right, so we're pretty well on target now. So just get rid of whatever remaining forward velocity we have. And start translating to the left. Okay, zoom in maybe one more time. No, I think we're on full zoom, okay. So let's go ahead and drop at full speed. Okay, a little bit of left translation just to get rid of that left-right movement. So we're pretty well zeroed out over the target. We're still a couple kilometers up. All right, I think we're. I think this is going to be a success. I don't know how efficient we're going to be, but um, I think the best I've done is around 66 percent. I mean, there are other techniques that you can use that'll greatly increase your overall efficiency, but okay. So let's zoom out a little bit because we're super zoomed in. Let's go ahead and hold. 500, 400, 200, I hope I started that soon enough. Okay, I did. Making me nervous. Okay, so all we need to do now is just uh, just drop these last few uh, dozen meters. Control our translation over the target. I don't remember if I ever put the, ga the gear up. I did, so let me put the gear down. That'd be a dumb way to crash. Uh, let me increase my drop a little bit. In fact, what I'll actually do, let me just put it back at about that and turn it off, get rid of all the hold. Translate a bit. 50 meters, 40 meters, 30, 20. I can ignore that because it's this is accurate. That call out's not. Five, four, three, two, one. I, I don't know why we get two different call outs for that. All right. So we're almost down. Can see the landing spot directly below us. 40. Okay, and let's zoom out a little bit. 30. 20. And there we are. Okay, 60.55%. Okay, so I've done better than that, but uh, you know, overall, any success in this in this uh, scenario is is a is a take you know take it take it and run with it all right so now um yeah that's that's a complete flight so obviously now you have the option to say no in which case the script is to exit and you can go about and do whatever you want or you can say yes 40. and let's take a look at the options when we say yes so yeah you get the welcome back message and it tells you what your last flight was and you know how you did and since since i reset everything before i started the video that was our best flight because it was our only flight and then you can hit enter and now you're going to get some options so you can try a brand new flight which will just randomize everything or you can try retry the last flight which is what i usually do because i like to try to get a better result or you can retry your best flight now in my case my best flight is also my last flight because so far we only have the one <clears throat> the one flight logged so for example i can do you know retry last flight and now that we have seen 
that flight, we have a pretty good, we maybe, hopefully we have a better idea of some things that we could do to maybe improve that flight. So now it's just going to um, put everything exactly back how it was. Technically, we don't need to mess with the uh, the sun right now because it's fine where it is, but you know, we can always do instant, which will maybe, you know, put it a few pixels one way or the other. And yeah, now everything is reset exactly back how it was. The only thing I'll mention when you do these resets, it doesn't uh, reset, it doesn't completely reset the vessel. So for example, the hover doors are still, or the retro doors are still open. And most importantly, the, the hover hold is still engaged. So when you re, if you continue, you need to know these things because if you leave this on and you then try to hover up off the ground, it's not going to work because when you try to engage the hover engines, uh, you're going to be fighting against the hover hold. And what's actually going to happen, what's actually going to happen since this is negative, this is going to win. The autopilot's going to win. So you're putting in zero, 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 trying to engage hover, but you're actually sinking and you're just going to immediately fail the mission. So that's important to know. Um, and then, yeah, your, your uh, RCS mode will be set however you last left it. Now, your landing gear will get reset. So if, for example, you fly a mission and you you take off and you get up into orbit, you raise your landing gear, but then you don't make it and you crash or something like that, and your landing gear is still up. When the scenario uh, resets, it will uh, lift the delta glider up off the ground, put down the landing gear, and get it positioned correctly. So that part will do, it will do that. But these other things about your vessel, you will have to, um, you'll have to reset those. So keep that in mind. All right, that's it. That's a quick look at this, uh, this really cool script. And I think that you guys should check it out. And if you have, I think I mentioned this already, but if you have the ability to record a video of your flight, uh, please do that and leave a link to your flight in the comments section down below so that we can check it out. But most importantly of all, uh, please take the time to leave a comment down below and just tell Dimitri that you think this is neat because uh, you know he spent a ton of time working on this. I can assure you I've back and forth with a lot of emails. And if you can give him some positive encouragement, that'd be awesome. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. And you know, it'll motivate him to let you let him know, hey, you know, dozens and dozens of other people have checked this out. So uh, you know, it's just it's nice to know that when you've worked on something, you know, that other people are enjoying it. And if you're just completely quiet and you don't say anything and you're and you're enjoying it, you know, then you know, he does not gonna necessarily have the motivation to uh, work on work on something else. So the more the more feedback that you can give to Dimitri, uh, you know, the more likely we are to see these kinds of things in the future. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I, you will definitely see more uh, of these suborbital lunar lander uh, videos from me. But for now, that's going to be it. So I will see you in the next video, if there is one. I assume there will be.